Hey guys, the chicken is here. Welcome back to another movie video. In today's video, guys, we made it up to rank 15. Not gold just quite yet. We might be able to push on later, but um, I wanted to go over your day two of, uh, of warships in season 63. All bugs included. Uh, as of the time of this video, they have still not fixed the matchmaking. Uh, sorry, not the matchmaking. The um, That's another issue. They haven't fixed the... Um, switch troops uh button bug which is which is very bad but i feel like most people at this point um understand what it is because i have not um seen anyone i've gone against uh doing that so if you guys haven't already appreciate it if you throw in that code chicken in the shop it does help support the channel grab your trader crates if you haven't already um we had some special offers the last few days if you haven't seen those make sure you check them out and appreciate those of you guys that do do that um also, if you can take a sec, subscribe channel, close in a 40k would be really cool. So we went to 4ER, and 4ER is definitely better than 3ER. And the idea of going 4 is kind of, as long as we can take down the opponent's base, since we're using warriors with the troop health, um, we should be able to do it much faster than them. Now we're a little bit light on the offensive side, uh, without flair, and... Um, I mean, we've got enough tools offensively, we should be able to make it work. So, yeah, let's just go over the tech tree first. I made this base, so I can't really recommend it, but it, it has been holding its own uh, pretty well. We did get on a nice little streak there, then it's been kind of, as soon as I hit 15, it's been kind of win-loss. So, I'm thinking we kind of tapped out around 15 with this tech, but, um, you know, in the iron rank, you don't need to put together that many wins to move to gold. So, hopefully we can get that done at some point. Um, so here's where we're at, and I did make some investments. I invested in the gunboat. Upgrading that was definitely helpful. Got a few more ice shields uh, with Kavan and more med kits, which we also maxed out. Um, so at the two engine level, there's the there's the bottom path uh, with the hot pot and the mines, or whatever proto you choose, and then there's the top path with the troop damage um, and skipping, you know, the the those three nodes underneath. Um, I think the bottom path there makes more sense because we need all those defenses. I mean, unless we're really blitzing through everybody with Seekers or something, we're going to need those defenses. So um, then as we move through three, just like yesterday, we went the middle path, um, just beelined it for four yards basically, um, got there as quickly as we could. And it's also important because I would put the troop health, depending on what troops you're using. I mean, most people are probably using uh, warriors, so unless you're using tanks, um, then maybe you can D up and go dirty three because I can't beat a maxed out defense three engine base So if you have gone that way, I would suggest going all in on that path um, And if not the troop health can definitely be a saving grace for you um, Yeah, this stuff down here. It's just too expensive and we're not really using it right now. So um, That's the plan for the time being so we're very close to getting those shock launchers I think the shock launchers are gonna be pretty huge um, it's crazy to think that we could technically go five after that. I mean, the season's just started and we're already potentially looking at five engines, but, um, yeah, we've got one key here, one key here. So we're very close to getting bombardiers as well. I mean, even though they're four nodes away, um, these are really, uh, inexpensive key, to, key wise, they're expensive in terms of the stuff they take away. So that's what we really got to figure out is getting to bombardiers or heavy choppers even worth it right out of the gates because um, I got a lot of comments on the day one path video saying that heavy choppers don't make sense because we don't have heavies. Um, while that is true, we don't have a ton of defense either, right? I mean, as of now, I'm using warriors without any flares and we're getting by. So um, the heavy choppers, we could probably do like a two six or one seven um, or maybe a heavy chopper rush, something like that. Um, and make things work for the time being, but that's in the future. That's what we're looking at. That's why we're doing this kind of rush uh, strategy and skipping a lot of stuff. I mean, last season that definitely ended up uh, working out really well for us. And with this season not being a secret season at the very end, I'm hoping that we can make a nice push um, towards the end of the season as long as we stay true to the path and try to collect our rank chests when we can. So there's the base. There's the tech. Let's dive into some hits here. And I'll show you exactly how we're running things. Now, we got to make sure when we go into the battle, we got everything that we want picked out. Now, the bug it has been annoying because there are definitely certain bases 
where I would run um, Second Wind opposed to Ice Shield because the super naked ones, I feel like having the rifles would, would help out a little bit more. Yes, hello, Flip. Hello. Yeah, he's going to make sure my hands are nice and wet before, um, before I get into this match here. Um, you want to come up and see the people, buddy? I always talk to Floki, but I never show him on camera. He's usually at my feet here, guys. There's the there's the silly goose right there. Yes, thank you, Floki. You can go back down. You got your you got your 15 minutes of fame. So yeah, that's uh, that's what we've been working with for um, for right now. And in terms of matchmaking, the bases that we don't want to see running only warriors are the stacked up three engine bases. The bases we do want to see are four ER bases, pretty well of any flavor. Um, sometimes they can be tricky, depending on how many defenses they have. Um, but yeah, so this is a three engine base. He's not super stacked, so we might be able to make this one work. Might be able to make this one work. I have found that the microwavers, uh, they have been very tough to deal with because. Um, Obviously they do damage through smoke, but they, they also have a lot of HP and they're difficult to take down. Um, Alright, so we want to sprinkle in some medkits. The maxed out medkits have definitely been helping. Um, yeah, so we just want to get through all this splash. If we can. Okay, there we go. Kavan might get grappled, which would be annoying. So let's smoke him. And we're gonna go med kits over here. Double med kits. Maybe even triple med kits. Okay, just gotta make sure that that microwaver goes down. There we go. They're taking a little bit of residual damage. And we will get one more med kit over here. Um, we could smoke, but I think better off to just med kit. There's just the one flamethrower. So as long as we get through this, should be GG's. Let's get the sniper tower left, but we should have enough warriors now. So, I mean, it's not the most difficult attack in the world, but it is, you know, you gotta be careful with it because you can sizzle those warriors pretty quickly, like. And there we go, so that's the advantage of not having to take tanks. There's actually two advantages now. Number one is obviously warriors are a lot faster, but number two, tanks are off path. So for 34 keys, if they're not even getting you ahead for right now, then that's definitely a tech mistake. So, and he had the DVD there too, so that's, he had the DVD and the 10% the building health. That's also why I haven't gone back for any of these stat nodes. I mean, it kind of um, has been up in the air, but 15 keys for 10% is really not that much. We've seen building health, uh, I think the cheapest one is 24 keys, I might be wrong, um, but that's for 50%. For 50% for 24 keys, that makes sense. For 10%, 10% is almost not noticeable, right? So let's try another one. I mean, it's going to be something we're going to come back for. More building health, you know, building damage. More stats are always good, but I feel like a 10% doesn't really make that. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't really make sense, especially at the beginning when the keys are just so, so important. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, let's see, let's see. Let's see what we can match up with here. Uh, okay, so this is a pretty naked four engine base. Um, so I mean, in terms of dropping them, we just wanna make sure that we put them in a line. Um, yeah, there's really not much to do other than that. And then we're just sprinkling in med kits. Um, as we need them. Put two down there just to get started. I hope they go up to the top. Some of them probably go to that sniper. Okay, most of them went up top. Good. That's good. Um, we don't really need the smoke because all the smoke is going to do is just slow us down. Um, it's just going to form them uh, up underneath it. The smoke can be helpful if they are if you're risking fizzling because then you can avoid taking some damage on your way over to the next thing. So it just depends. It just depends on what is the issue that you're uh, facing. Oh, that was a bad split. That was a bad split. So we're going to go all medkits here because we don't have Kavan yet. Okay, so let's see if we can... 
I think we'll have enough to get through. They actually all went to the engine room, which was kind of weird. But let's see if we got this one down, 256. <clears throat> Is it going to be fast enough? Oh, this guy's looking speedy. Um, he's really split up all over the place. He's trying to get the critters to work there, but I feel like... Uh, he might have enough damage to get through there, I'm not sure. He's got the bottom one for sure. Now he's just going with critters. We should have him roasted on the top there. That was close though. That was close. That's what I found a lot of the um, the higher up guys are doing. They're doing like split warrior hits with critters. Um, so there we go. We might have a rank 16 push in us just yet. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think down below in that comment section. We got the we got the builder dudes just walking in the line. It's kind of funny. I don't know if I've seen them walk in that pattern. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think. And um, yeah, good luck out there. And we'll see you next one, guys. Check it out. Bye, bye.